We are singing unto our God. We are happy unto the Lord. We are happy unto Jehovah. Amen. Yes, the Lord has come again to take us along to teach us his word. Let's welcome him and bless him. Tell him you are welcome, Lord Jesus. Take your seat among us. Yes, Lord, go to the pulpit and speak. Open up. Open the leaf, I mean, the, 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 your word, the leaves of your word. And cause us to see and touch our hearts to understand. Touch our hearts to understand. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Divine, we bless you. Thank you for coming to teach us again the word of righteousness and holiness we are grateful lord that this time you are directing us to yourself because you made us for your glory you made us to praise you worship in jesus name Go with us. In Jesus' name we pray. For almost a period of two months, the Lord has been leading us in the department of praise and worship. Now, he is leading us to the person we should praise and worship. He told us things we should not engage in in the name of praise. He condemned the dances going on in many assemblies and says, they are not precious to himself, but fleshly pleasures by those worshippers. He taught us how we should praise him, and that in praising, we should praise him with all our might, with all our glory. In conclusion, because the teaching today will be the last in this series until the Lord will bring us again back to this department of praise next time. And uh, today we are talking on praises and worship to the living God. Praises and worship to the living God. Can everybody say it? Exactly. He is now speaking to us as men. The person we should praise and worship The person we should adore. He has to say this because again there is misplacement of the person of worship among human beings. 
among the hidden who don't know God. They give precious to non-living things which they call gods. To stones, to wood, to rivers, to mountains, to trees, and to other material substances or objects. Hence, they end up giving praises and worship to Satan and his demons. Now, to the church, again another misplacement. Praises and worship in many assemblies go to their preachers, their overseers, superintendents, senior pastors, church founders, or some gifted and talented persons among them. The heart of the worshippers do not focus the on the living God. So, again, making human beings idols. So the Lord wants to teach us to open our eyes to the people, we, to the person we need to praise and worship. To give adoration. God himself is the person we should praise and give our tongues in worship. He is the person of universal praise. Living and non-living things praise and worship him. I hope you know I am still in the book Worshipping God in the Beauty of Holiness. At this time, I am reading page 2. Because we have page 2 to 5 in our consideration. God is the Creator who made all things for his glory and praise. Everything you are seeing, there is something that motivated God to make it, to make it and that is his praise, his worship, he made all things for his praise. He created man and woman for his glory and praise. He ordained praise, thanksgiving, and worship of himself as the duty of his human and angelic creatures. That was why God made man. God was where God met angels. They exist for his praise. I have made him for my glory. I have made them for my glory. Hence, that you are alive today, in fact, that you were created at all, is that God should be praised by you and that others who see you should praise and worship him. You are an object of worship. You are a candidate to give worship. Object of worship. When people see you, they should worship your creator. King Ahasuerus asked Vashti to come up and make a show of herself for his praise. For his honor. In that case, not ador adoration praise, that people should feel happy that he had such a beautiful woman. So, 
God met you so that you should give human beings inspiration to praise Him. You are always praising God for me. That is exactly why He met me. That I should be making people, I should be inspiring people to praise Him by my works, by my looks, by my activities, by the gifts, by the talents that are in me. Praises should be going up to Him. And I myself should also be praising Him for my existence, for His goodness in my life, for His blessings in my life. I should be praising Him. He made me for His praise. And, and so He made you. Are people giving praise to God because of you? Or you have misplaced the reason of your creation? He, he, God, He ordained praise, thanksgiving and worship of Himself as the duty of His human creature. And what the angels are doing over there in heaven is praise. Worship. Worship. Someone said, and I think it should be like that, that angels were made to give God automatic praise. Like, uh, like praise machines. Their will is geared toward that. Just the praise of God. At all times they should be praising. That is the reason why they are. That is the reason why they are there in heaven. And God now said, I'm going to raise up another kind of beings. They are human beings in which I will want them to exercise their free will. And I want to know those among them that will be offering praise to me willingly, not by force. I am not going to force praise, although I created them for this. I'm not going to force praise, although I raised them up for this. But I will give it to them in free will and see those among them that shall discover the reason for their creation, the reason for my placing them upon the earth, and will willingly and not by force worship me and praise me. If you are among these people, you have discovered the reason for your living. The reason for your living. Why do you allow, has God allowed the devil among men? He said, in heaven, there is perfect bliss, perfect beauty, complete, every desire is granted. But on earth, Satan is there and God is aware. Evil is there and God is aware. And there is affliction also of the righteous. But God says, when I see the righteous, in the midst of affliction and the darkness of the earth, in the midst of the torments of Satan and all, rise up to my praise with all the heart, with all joy, worshipping. Jesus says, tears fall from the eyes of the Father in appreciation of that praise. Because he said, my angel praised me as praise machines. Yes, but what about this? In the difficulty of their lives, out of all problems, they don't, instead of cursing me, instead of abusing me, uh, God, why did you make Satan? Why did you allow Satan? Why am I not eating food today? Why not? The, why not? The, rather, they throw away all those things and face me in worship and face me in praise. It's glorious. Wonderful. That's what God wants. It is the duty of man. He redeemed fallen man from sin for his praise and worship. That is the reason of your salvation. That is the reason of your deliverance from the hand of sin and Satan. He inhabits <laughs> the praise and worship of his sins. God inhabits 
the praise and worship of his saints. Well, those who are not in the, who have not tested the village life, where there is a, a bush fire, will not understand this. But we who have lived the village life, we understand this, that when the bush is set on fire, and the smoke is going, and the smoke is ascending to the sky, there are these bays called the kites that like such a place, that be moving around. Just be moving around, enjoying the small. Come down, go up. Come down, go up. God inhabits the praise of His people. So when people gather and are given sincere praise, the glory of the Lord goes down and come up because that is exactly what I am looking for. I created you people for this. I am happy. I am blessed. I am happy. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is it, my brother. It's a good thing to praise the Lord. Yes. Praise and worship of God is praise and worship of the three personalities in the Godhead. The Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The, the three are the one God one Lord, one King, and one Jehovah, angels and saints in heaven. And the saints on earth praise and worship. God is one. He is three in one. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, verse one the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God, and in verse 26, and God said, Laid us, make man in our image, after our likeness. You see the plural pronouns there. In laid us in our image, after our likeness, showing three, I'm mean, showing more than one person in the Godhead. And the Bible reveals that they are really three talking here. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it was uh, 27. So, God created man in his own image. It brings it back to singular noun. His own image. Not their own image. No, his. Which means the three are one person. The three separate personalities are actually one person. That is the nature of the existence of God. That's the nature of the existence of God. And God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good. That's verse 31. Everything that he has made, God is a singular being. And in First John chapter 5 and 7, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, the Son Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Exactly. These three are one person. If you, suppose you, who inhabits eternity? Who has been dwelling in heaven? Three persons. A time came, one came down to the earth. Two persons remained, but it's one person. Now, the one that came down to the earth called Jesus has gone back to heaven. And the Holy Ghost has come back to the earth. In heaven now, two persons. But it's one person. We have taught you this over and over. We say just as you see the human body, I mean the human being having the spirit, the soul, and the body. Because he made us as uh, himself after his likeness. The three persons in one God, three persons in one man, spirit, soul, and body. 
is one person. None is greater than the other. But for redemptive purpose, one assumed the office of the Father, the other of the Son, because he had to be a son to be sent to the world, the other one the Holy Spirit, for redemption purpose. Otherwise, he is the eternal God. For Jesus answered him, the face of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. That's the book of Mark chapter 12, verse 29. So we are dealing with one person. The person we are praising is one person. <laughs> Hallelujah. So whether you are calling on Jesus' name, you are calling on the name of the Father, you are calling on the name of the Holy Ghost, wherever your praises are going, you are sending it to one person. You're sending it to one person. When Jesus was on earth, he directed us to the Father because he was a human being with us. Let everybody focus on the Father. That's God. He is now with the Father. God. For he I and my Father are one. I and my Father are one. So, now we know whichever direction we turn, God is there. He is the Holy Spirit. He is Jesus. He is the Father. One person. The psalmist lead us to him to offer our praise, thanksgiving, and worship in the following psalms. You will notice that the book, Worshipping God in the Beauty of Holiness, actually centers on the book of Psalms for purpose of praise worship is inexhaustible. I trust we shall still come back to this book at a time the Lord shall direct us back. In Psalm 7, verse 17. Psalm 7, verse 17. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Whom is he going to praise? He asks in another place, Whom do I have in heaven but thee? Who, can, who does inhabit our praises but God? I will praise the Lord and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. Great. I will praise him. Again in Psalm 22. Verse 22 to 25. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation. Will I praise thee. Whom am I going to be praising in the congregation. That's why we are telling all these dancers. Don't carry away the people's mind to you. So that it's you now they are praising in the congregation. No. It's to God. So, whom do I praise in the congregation but God? He said, I would declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Among people I will be praising you. I will be singing and praising the Lord. I will be clapping, joying, and worshiping my God. Yet, ye that fear the Lord, verse 23, ye that fear the Lord, praise Him. Do you fear God? Do you respect God? Praise Him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify Him, children of Israel. Children of Israel, God has chosen us. Glorify Him. Praise Him. All ye the seed of Israel. Yes. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. In the great congregation, I will give attention to your worship. I will give attention to the praise of the living God. In Psalm 47, verse 1. Verse 6, verse 7, 
verse 8 in Psalm 47 verse 1. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. He has overcome. He is God. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing, pra sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the hidden. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. Worship him. Sing praises. Worship him. Clap your hands. Bless his name. He is the king. Eternal king. In verse 7. Can we read verse 7 together? One, two, go. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. With understanding. That's why we say the musics should not overshadow the words. Otherwise, the people will be playing the fool. They'll be dancing rather to the tune of the music and not responding in the inspiration of the world. Sing praises with understanding. Bring God into focus. The great God. More than your father. The great God. Better than your mother. The great God. Richer than your brother. The mighty king. Greater than the president of the country. Great, everlasting. None like him. Sing praises with understanding. Bring God into focus. Cause your imagination to roll. Roll on God. Roll on him, his existence, his eternity, his works, his power, his greatness, and all this to work on your heart to bust it in praise. Praise of the living God. Yes. In Psalm 95, verse 1 to verse 7. Psalm 95, verse 1 to 7. Oh, come. Let us sing unto the Lord. It is to the Lord. When you are singing songs, focus on the Lord. Choir people. When you are singing, focus on God. You are singing unto the Lord. Just like the song, we are clapping unto the Lord. We are singing unto the Lord. We are jumping unto the Lord. We are shouting unto the Lord. Sing praises unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Joyful noise. Woo! Ah! Because of the glory of God. We are overwhelmed by the power from God. The rays of His glory is coming upon us. It's moving me around. It's moving me around. I shout. I shout out of excitement. I'm feeling it. I make noise to the God of our salvation. Yes. That's what the psalmist is telling us. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Who is like Him among the gods? Who is like Him glorious in holiness? Fearful in praises. Do you wonders? Hallelujah. For oh, there's none holy as the Lord. None holy as the Lord. The eternal king. Yes. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he met it, and his hands formed the dry land. He met the lion, he met the tiger, he met, he, he, he met the goat, he met the sheep, he met the dog, he met the cat, he met the trees, he met the clouds, he met the sky, he met the sun, he met the moon, he met the wind. 
He made the stars. He made the planets. He made the sea. He made the ocean. He made man. He made woman. He made children. He made them in the womb. He made the black. He made the white. He made the tall. He made the short. He made the fat. He made the tight. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Glory. Jesus. Thank you. I like him. I love him. Do you love him? I see we should start singing now. <laughs> Hallelujah. He makes all things. Oh, come. Let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. The one that made us. The one that formed us. Nothing will happen to our lives on earth until he's taken it by his glory. Until he says, we have finished. Like, Je like Jacob in Egypt, when he called his children and blessed them and finished, he, he folded his legs back to the bed and went to bed with God. I'm telling you, he has finished. You will finish and go and meet with him. I say you will finish and go and meet with God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture. And the sheep of his heart. Now we know whom to worship. Worship God. Worship Jesus. Worship the Holy Ghost. Now, God wants to give you understanding. Get this very well. Direct your praises to God. When you're lying down, when you're standing up. When you're walking on the street, when you are lonely in somewhere, when you are in the farm, you are in the office, you are in the market, in school, wherever you are, and you are moved to praise Him, direct your praises to God. Let God be the enthroned image or personality in your heart when you are offering praise, thanksgiving, and worship. Maybe you close your eyes as some of us often do when we enter into praise. Be imagining this great God. Be imagining his presence as you are worshipping. Set him in focus. It is to the Lord Jesus. It is to the most high. Holy Ghost. We are worshipping the Father. Let that imagination be in your mind. It is God you worship. Direct your adoring praise and worship to God and not to his creatures. Not to his creatures. Not to his creatures. No. Worship God and not his angels. Angels will not take it from you. Angels will not take worship from you because it is God to be worshipped. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 8, to verse 9. Revelation chapter 22. Direct your praise to God and not to angels. And I, John, saw these things and had them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Shout out with the angels in verse 9. Everybody want to go. And then said he unto me, See that thou do it not. Exactly. Okay. Hallelujah. Everybody shout that one. Everybody shout that one. Yes. And I just saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the angel. Before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See, thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant 
and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God! I'm saying because tendencies are in you. Woman, you have a feeling, feel towards your husband. Don't feel towards another man. Ma, you have a feeling of worship, feel towards the living God. Don't feel towards ma. Somebody else has done overwhelming good to your life. Somebody has blessed your life. Oh, you feel you would bow down. Don't, don't. Not even before an angel. For worship belongs to God. Worship God and not ma. Worship God and not ma. Everybody say it. In the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 10. Acts of Apostles chapter 10 it was it was when Peter came into the house of Cornelius and Cornelius was overwhelmed God spoke about this man God told me about this man Yes. God told me about this man. Look at it in verse 24 and 25. And the morrow after they entered into Caesarea and Cornelius waited for them and he had called together his kinsmen and near friends. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. Verse 26, everybody want to go. I myself, I am a man. But Peter took him up, saying, stand up. I myself am a man. Worship is not for man. But you overwhelmed me by what God spoke about you. God told me you are a special man, but I am a man. God told me you have the power of salvation. I am a man. He told me you have the word of salvation. He told me he has equipped you for the salvation of mankind, but I am a man. Worship is not to man, not to the great man, not to the greatest man. Not to the gifted man. Not to the called and exalted man. Not to the divinely recognized man. Man! As long as he's man and not God, worship is not his own. God rather is saying, I made him for my glory. And my glory will I not give another. Yes. Give praise, honor, and worship to God for the beauty he has put in his angelic creatures, human creatures, animal creatures, inanimate creatures. Worship God for the virtues he has put in his angelic creatures. Human creatures, animal creatures, inanimate creatures. Worship God for the excellence he has built into his angelic creatures. Human creatures, animal creatures, inanimate creatures. That's non-living things. He still made them beautiful. Worship God for that. Worship God. Yes. Worship God for what he has done, the glory, the glory he has given to his angelic creatures. When they appear, you see glory, a brightness, wonderful, greater than that of the earth. 
He put that glory there. But then, worship God. The angel is not God. They mean of glory. Mean that the Lord has invested much power. Power for the miracles. Much wisdom. Wisdom in words. Much virtues. Beautiful virtues. Much wealth. But worship God and not man. Worship God for those things. They, they amass you. They surprise you. They beat your imagination. That such a thing can be in a man. Such wisdom can be exercised by a man. Such understanding can be given to a man. Such powers can be given to a man. But all this, he is a man. And worship doesn't belong to him. Hmm. Someone who saw it in the revelation said, that's William Booth. When the Lord gave him the revelation to go to the off score of heaven, the outside surrounding, and uh, he saw some people who were coming to him the first man came because the man took permission from God that William Booth is coming from my village, from my town, from my community, from my place. I want to hear the letters from him whether the church I started near his house. I was a musician. I started a church but I didn't last long I died. I want to know what he has done to that church. Whether he went there and encouraged them and what, what, how are salvation, how is salvation going on there? So, when that man fl flew in to where William Booth was, he said, when I saw him, the glory that covered that man rather was like that of a God. It was as if I should worship him because he said, if such a one appeared on the earth by reason of his glory, the earth would bow down and worship him. But eventually when he asked me whether I visited the church, you know, this denominational division that we have on earth, I didn't bother about it. I was ashamed. When he noticed that I had nothing to say, he flew back. Then another one flew back. I saw that that should be a woman creature. The glory, beauty of that superseded the one that came. Yes. Superseded the one that came. The glory and the beauty superseded that of that who came first. Which means if you mean to worship man, you will keep on worshiping him. From grade to grade. Because they shall be decorated according to their works. Paul had not yet come in before him. The, the authorities of heaven. He was just seeing the little ones. Who had, who had done just little for God on earth. He was just seeing them. So what am I saying? Glory. God can give man glory. Not for worship. No. The worshippers in a Christian assembly must focus their hearts on God. The Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. As the person of, of praise, adorable thanksgiving, and worship the pastor may be highly anointed and virtuous. The preachers, singers, and others may be so gifted, talented, and saintly, but they should not be the focus of the worshippers. It is God who gave them the grace. He gave them the wisdom, the anointing, gifts, and talents. He gave them the world. He is the one to be worshipped. For God will not give his glory to another. 
Take it. Because other churches have already gone. Other churches have gone into human worship because of the display of their pastors, the display of their overseers, <clears throat> oratory power, miraculous power, wisdom of man. They go to worship and focus on him, praising him, doing all. Others have gone into the worship of celebrities. This one, beautiful musician. He can sing well. The voice is fantastic. You see him, you want to worship. Ma! Church! Don't do it. God is advertising Horemo. Holiness Revival Movement. Worldwide. From time to time, God is giving advertisement. God is advertising his servant, his ministers, in holiness revival movement. Yes, you, you see various places the Lord has spoken. I sent Sister Linda. She is speaking my word. She is my daughter. God is advertising that. How much more of the international director? He is my son. I put him there. And very often you hear that he's not the one doing the preaching. I God opened my eyes and I saw that he came out of his body and Jesus took over his body and as he opened his mouth, it was Jesus that was speaking. All this advertisement should not lead you to human worship. As though to say, we have become God. As though to say, eh, I will touch him now. Healing will come out. We are mean like you. We will never be God forever and ever. Everybody say forever and ever. Pastor Rika will never become God. Say it. In case, say it three times so that in case you are sleeping, it will still be your imagination. The material one. Therefore, don't give him the honor of God. Don't give him worship. He is not God. He's a man. I don't know what the Lord shall do tomorrow. It may be, it shall be, uh, that I will be in the appropriate preaching and Jesus will stand by me and put his hand on my head. He said, God, this person is one with Jesus. No, a creature of Jesus. Amen? The same, anyone, any gifted man can come up in holiness movement. Don't worship him. Don't give the praise of God to man. It's idolatry. Church, hear it. Hear it again. Let the church worldwide hear it. Because the glory of the Lord left many churches. Wow! They gave the overseer, the church founder, the intelligent preacher, they gave them worship. Their glory was higher than the glory of God. And the Lord who cannot, is a jealous God. He abandoned that place. He abandoned those individuals. And we will not want to be abandoned. Therefore, we will not want to take that. It is not ours. Somebody parked his beautiful car by my house. You came and they asked me, Hey, so you bought a car? You have got it? You bought this car? How where did you get the money? It's not my own. Everybody says it's not my own. <laughs> so that you won't be thinking back and find me beyond major. It's for somebody. He just asked me whether he would park the car here because he was going somewhere to come. And I say, yes, you want to give me glory? When he takes away his car, what will happen? When you don't see that car in my house again, you want to give me shame? <laughs> yes, I said, no. That is the word of God. It is God who gave those, those grace, wisdom, anointing, gifts and talents. He is the one to be worshipped. For he will not give his glory to another.
Ministers in the church must not direct the people's hearts to him to themselves, but to God. Be careful, pastors, leaders, coordinators. You might be gifted, you might be very generous, very kind. And you know, human beings, worship is inside them. They have been looking for where to pour it. Their hearts have not understood God. So when you come out so wonderful, they want to worship like Barnabas and Paul. Hey, this is Jupiter. This one is this, Mercurius. Because they met a lemon to walk. Let's quickly sacrifice for Jupiter. That's man. They walk hard among them, crying, mean, stop that, please stop that. We're human beings. We're not gods. We're human beings. It's God that sent us to you. Worship belongs to him. He alone inhabits the praises of his people. We are among the people praising him. We praise him. We even lead others to praise him. Yes. Don't cause the people to look to you. You are the final authority. To the point that they, they will fear to, to, to serve God. To obey God because of you. Ministers. You are taking the glory of the Lord. The Lord will judge you. He will not take it lightly. For anyone that takes his own glory. We can show appreciation to man. For yielding himself to God. So that divine praise and adoration should be given to God. We say thank you. We, we can praise. Oh, I bless God. The way our pastor teaches the word of God. I'm so blessed. It makes it very clear. Oh, thank God for this pastor. You say, remember you say what? Thank who? Thank who? Thank God! Who gave him that ability? Who gave him that ability? Your praise to be to God. Although you appreciate the pastor. Pastor, thank you. Thank you for making yourself available to God. And the Lord is using you. We praise God for you. Yes. That's what the word of God is telling us. This same principle should rule the family. Mother. Father, don't cover the God before the eyes of your children. To the point that they see only father, only mother. They are not aware of the great God above father, above mother. It should also be observed in human institution. Don't respect any man for his wickedness because he can do evil. Or for his goodness, because he can, is full of virtues. Don't respect that man above God. I see, yes, he showed you kindness by giving you employment. He showed you kindness by giving you a gift of a car. He showed you kindness by appointing you to this. He showed you kindness. But not worship, not worship. You appreciate him. But you, you remember God. It was God that laid it in his heart. It was God that caused King Ahasuerus not to have rest and requested for the book of record and was going through it without understanding what he was doing and was checking it, checking it until he came at Mordecai. What has been done to this man? Are you now going to worship that king? What about the God that moved him? What about the God that gave him sleep, sleepless night because he wanted your promotion? My glory will I not give another. Don't thank him. Appreciate him that God used him. Let God be the number one in your tongue. Because without God, he could have done nothing. If it were not God, it wouldn't have been done. Who is he that say it to pass and say it and he come it to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Who can do you good? Except the Lord. In fact, when they looked at Jesus and said, Good master, 
He said, who is good but God alone? All the good you see on earth, pure good, comes from God. Although you see it through man, although you see it falling from trees as the fruits of the trees, but they come from God. Praise God. Thank God. And Jesus wanted him to know, do you realize I am God? That's why I'm doing all these fantastic things to you. Above mankind. That's what God wants you to know. It should be the same principle in the nation. Don't fear the president above God. However wicked. What can his wickedness do? When Jacob, remember, when Laban was running after Jacob, he said, today I will finish him. The Lord came to, Je to Laban and said, see that you do nothing good nor bad to this young man. Nothing good. I'm not looking for good for you for him. I have enough. Nothing bad. I have not allowed any bad thing. Surely there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither divination against Israel. For the Lord has not seen evil in him. No. The Lord has not given permission. Even to Job's, Job's life. The Lord, Satan said, you bless Job and never allowed anything to touch him. The Lord said, okay, I have allowed you, but don't take his life. God must allow, even before the evil man will do it. So why are you afraid of the evil man? He cannot come, except God allows him. If God does allow him, it's for your good. All things work together for good. To them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. God perfected beauty in the creation of Lucifer. And gave him special anointing for his own glory. For whose glory? For God's glory. But a time came. Lucifer began to magnify himself among the angels because of these qualities that God put in him. A third of the angels began to give glory to Lucifer because he was specially made and not to God who created him in his excellent wisdom. And this is folly in creation, in creatures. God was the one who made Satan beautiful as Lucifer, excellent and bitter, more brightly than other angels. Who made him? Is God. So that when other angels see him, they will worship God. Oh, this is great. The wisdom of God, the power of God, the dignity of God, the graces of God, the excellencies of God. See how he met Lucifer gloriously bright. That's what God expected from them. And Lucifer will just be say, God, you made me fantastic. God. You know, the angels are seeing me with surprise. I'm sure they are wondering who you are. Who have made me like this? I, I'm special. The angels are worshipping you for me. God, I thank you for making me wonderful. And now I'm bringing glory to you more from the angels. Thank you. That's what Lucifer should have been doing. This Lucifer is a stubborn man. Uh-uh. Instead of bringing glory to God, Lucifer was raising his shoulder among the angels. Yes. Who of you is like me? Which one of you is like me? Especially man. God knows I will, be, I will take over God. That's why he made me like this. You, can you see interpretation of the wicked? God knows me. He knows that I have power. That's why he made me in a glorious form. My next, my next uh, vision now is to take over the throne of God. And angels, instead of rebuking him, 
They are agreeing. Okay, that is where God really made you. Ah, I am for you. I am for you. These people forgot God. You forgot the God that made Lucifer. Up to one third of the angels. If if there were three thousand angels in heaven, one thousand angels agreed with Satan to become God. If there were three million angels in heaven, one million angels agreed with Satan to become God. And it's a dangerous condition that the natural beauty put into you for the worship of God is the reason why you are stumbling. Other people are stumbling. They are celebrating your beauty to your doom. They are celebrating your beauty to your doom. The money God has given to you Instead of glorifying God, making others to glorify God by your generosity, you are using it to buy immorality, to corrupt people's wives with money, to do all wickedness with the money that came from God. That is what human beings are doing. Yes. That is what human beings are doing. This misplacement of praise and glory led to their evacuation from heaven and condemnation to everlasting destruction in the lake of fire. Now they are gone. They are not in heaven again. And Lucifer will never go up there. Can never enter heaven. No. He can never enter into the beautiful city. He cannot. That's why he's busy fighting that you should also not enter. Wicked person. Wicked person. You ask how the wickedness come to him, which I understand that by and by. How wickedness can be done in holy places. Yes. Church ministers. And members must be one against this arrow of Lucifer and the fallen angels. Be one in all your gifts and talents. Don't take the glory. Don't take the praise. Praise belongs unto God. Praise belongs unto God. Everybody say it. Well, we had a tradition in my among my people. I don't know whether the tradition is still there because that one is just tradition. It's not the word of God. Any place a chicken is killed in a compound, be it a wide compound, there is that portion of the chicken that must be caught and given to the head of the father. The father of that big compound. Nobody must eat it. Wherever a chicken is killed, they will cut that place and say, it's for our father. The senior man there, go and give him. If he doesn't come, whoever is eating it has offended. And maybe they are doing so in your place too. As for God, it is the praises of himself. Don't give his praise to somebody else. Any good work, fantastic work, virtuous work that is done, the praise belongs to God. You thank others. Others can eat the chicken too. Others can be blessed too. But as for the worship, the praise worship that shows supremacy of the of being, it belongs to God. For he alone is supreme. You have heard it today. When Nebuchadnezzar did not give the glory to God, but to himself, for the great Babylon he had built, God reduced him to a bush animal. Till he would, he should know that the most high ruler, I mean, ruled, in the kingdom of men 
until he should know the most high God that inhabited places made the world for himself. For his praise. He made man for his praise. And all should praise him. Who can be as good as God? Your praise. Ah, this man is very good. Go and check up whether is everybody saying he's very good. Uh, wh what is he very good about? He's very good. Bef because he gave you a gift. Yes. Anini was very good in Benin City in that day, in those days with, with market people because he would go to the bank, break through the banks, and carry the money to the marketplace. Everybody take, go and do your business. Hey! Is God like that? I'm talking about the person that is all good. You will give, leave, you won't give him praise and give to these fraction people who are, who are good in a fraction, selfish, good even. Who do evil in other places. Is it they that will receive praise and this all good God, perfectly good God, which is not only good to you, but to all. Surely the Lord is good to all. You will leave his praise and go to a man and be poured in worship, poured in worship, because he did something good for you. Even that thing, if the Lord never gave him that heart, he wouldn't have come to you. It's an answer to prayer. It's an answer to prayer. It's an answer to prayer. I had a story of some people who were, they were praying in a particular building. Oh God, no food to eat. They were, oh God, send us food. Jesus, give us food. Lord, we are hungry. Give us food. A hunter killed an animal and was coming to pass by that way. I was hearing what the people were saying. Oh God, give us food. Jesus, give us food. And then the hunter had them and said, look at these people. They're shouting, they're thinking God will give them food. Okay, let me do something. Let me, let me, let me mock them. So he carried his animal that he killed and threw it into the room. The animal fell down. But they said, oh, God has given us food. The, 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 the hunter was laughing. Look at them. I am the one who threw the thing to them. They say, God has given them food. <laughs> hunter. God gave them food. Amen. The whole drama you were doing, God allowed you to play that drama to answer the prayer of people. It's God. It's God. Everybody say it's God. It is God. It is God. He will do you good. I say God will do you good. Thank you, Jesus. Don't take his glory. He will reduce you. He will demote, demote you. When Herod receive undue praise, receive undue praise and adoration from depraved men, he did not forbid them. Neither did he transfer this glory to God. He was stricken down by an angel of God and was eaten up immediately by worms because he did not give God the glory and praise. Don't become barren in life because you're taking all the praises. We're careful. All you say, our pastor, our pastor, we shut up the heart of receiving praise and send it straight. We created a bypass. When the thing is coming like that, we created a bypass. It goes to God. Not to us. It's God. If it were not himself, who I am, who am I? What could I have done? Could I have still been alive? So he should be praised. All praises should go to God. All praises should go to God. Do not take God's glory and praise. Do not take God's glory and honor 
Never give his glory and praise to another. Divine judgment may not come immediately, but will surely come. God in this world and in the world to come be one. And in this place, we should esteem our ministers highly, more than that, very highly, even with trembling, but not to give them worship. No, worship belongs to God alone. This is the understanding we shall have from now until the rapture meets with us soonest. In Jesus' name, you have understood. You are the reason why we are here. You are the reason why we are praising. You are the reason why we praise the Lord Jehovah. You are the reason why we are living. You are the reason why we do good, Lord. You are the reason why we are preaching Jehovah. I say, Jehovah, you are. My Jesus, you are. The Holy God, you are. My Father, you are. My Jesus, you are. We worship you, are. we praise you, you are. We adore you, you are. You are the most power. You are the most good. You are the supreme creator. You are the most high God. We bless you, you are. We honor you, you are. Forevermore you are. We love you, you are. Say you are Jesus, you are. You died for us, you are. You are a demon, you are. My Savior, you are. My healer, you are. My blesser, you are. You are the most Father. You are the most sacred. You are the most sacred. You are the most sacred. We bless you. You are. It's only you. You are. No one else, Lord. You are. No one else, Lord. You are. Oh, we love you. You are. Hey, worship. We praise you. You are. We adore you. You are. You are our Father, you are our King, Lord, you are Lord of Lords, Lord, you are You are King of Kings, you are We honor you, you are We love you, you are Sing, we bless you, you are the You are the reason why we are living You are the reason why we are doing you are the reason why we do good, Jehovah. You are. you are the reason why we are preaching. You are the reason why we have knowledge. You are the reason why we have wisdom, Jehovah. I say, I praise you, you are. I worship you, you are. I adore you, you are. We love you, you are. We honor you, you are. You are Jesus, you are. You are the Holy Ghost, you are. Everlasting, you are. King of kings, Lord, you are. Lord of lords, Lord, you are. You are the Messiah, you are. Coming Savior, you are. Resurrected, you are. On throne now you are the ah, I worship you are We worship you are We adore you you are Hallelujah 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 
Alleluia, 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 you are the most high by Jesus, my Jesus, my Father, the Holy Ghost, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Holy Ghost, my Father, God the most. I say we love you, we bless you, we preach you, we adore you, we love you, we bless you, all the most. Oh, you are the reason why we are here. You are the reason why we are doing. You are the reason why we are living, Jehovah. You are the reason for our wisdom. You are the reason for our knowledge. It is you that gave us this knowledge, Jehovah. I say we worship you. Worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we honor you, we worship, we adore you, we magnify, we adore you, we lift you up, you are, I say you are Jesus, you are. I say your Jesus, you are. I say, I say your Jesus, you are Jesus, you are Jesus, you are the Lord, Lord, you are the King of God, the Most High. You are the Most High God. You are the Most High Power. You are the Most High God. You are the Most High Creator. You are the most I go. We praise you, you are. We bow, you are the, we bow before you, you are. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Release yourself! I love you, you are. I say I bless you, you are. You are the savior, you are. No one like you, you are. You are the only girl, you are. Oh, we love you, you are. I say we thank you, you are. I say we bless you, you are. I say we thank you, you are. I say we love you, you are. I say we kneel before you, you are. You are. You are the most I got. Oh, you are, you are, you are the most I got. You are, my brother, worship him. You are the most I got. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Are the most I got. My sister, worship God. Worship God as the most. I say He's Jesus, He's Peter, He's Savior, He's the Healer of the most. I say we bless you. You are, you are the most. I, my Father, you are, you are, you are the most. I do. You are, you are, you are the most. I do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 I say hallelujah, 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 you are the most, oh, we worship you, we bless 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 you, God the most. Hallelujah, you are, you are the most I got. You are, you are, you are the most I we worship. You are, you are the most I do. Oh, you are, you are, you are the most I do. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I say hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah, you are the most. I say we love you, you are. We praise you, you are. Only you, you are. Only you, you are. You are Jesus, you are. You are our Father. <laughs> you are our Savior, you are. You are Messiah, you are. You are Redeemer, you are. We love our Jesus, you are. We love our Savior, you are. We worship Jesus, you are. We worship Jesus, you are. We worship Jesus, you are. And we say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We hallelujah, you are. We say you are Father, you are. You are our Father, you are. You are the Holy Ghost, you are. The, I say you are Holy Ghost, you are. The eternal Lord, you are. You everlasting, you are. Hallelujah! Everlasting, you are. I say everlasting, you are. Eternal Jesus, you are. Eternal Father, you are. Eternal Holy Ghost, you are. I say I love you, you are. I say I bless you, you are. I say I honor you, you are. Oh, you are the most high God. You are, you are the most high God. Oh, you are, you are, you are the most high God. Oh, you are. You are the most sight, my Father, my Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, my Jesus, my Father, your Father, the Holy Ghost, the Jesus, my Holy Ghost, the Father, the Holy Ghost, my Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the most God. 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 Hallelujah! Worship the Lord with a clap of praise. He is the creator. All worship belongs to him. Adoration. Praise. Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Forever. Worship God and not man. Worship God and not his angels. Close your eyes and begin to bless God. Let worship rule your life. Let worship rule your life. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, 
will have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe.
You purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin. Jesus, I'm.